Hello and welcome to Web Alert. Google TV is the stuff of dreams. You can watch all your favorite shows on demand right from your computer. They're even having a private beta, and this video from Infinite Solutions can show you how to get an invitation. Hello, Mark Erickson here. Welcome back to Infinite Solutions. Remember when Google introduced the now commonplace Gmail address and everyone was bragging about the two gigs of storage and the message searchability, but you couldn't get Gmail without an invite? Well, here's your opportunity to get in early on a new Google Labs beta product. Google engineers have a history of Easter egging their sites. You might know about the LeadSpeak Google or the Numerological Challenge sites, or how about Loco Google? Well, this time they've hidden a subscription to Google TV. Based on the Google Video and YouTube architecture, Google will soon unveil this on-demand TV service, already supported by three of the four major networks. You can call up any current TV shows or TV shows from network libraries for free. You watch them streaming and they're embedded with ads based on keywords found by Google bots in your cache and email history. My email is littered with tech terms, hence the ATI ad here. Previously, on prison break. So how to sign up? First, you'll need to be a Gmail subscriber. Log into your address, Go into the Settings tab, then to the General tab within that. At the very bottom, you should see Love Gmail and Bold, with a link directing you to other Google products. Right-click and select Copy Shortcut. Now go back into the main screen and send yourself an email with a link location pasted in both the subject and body of the email. Be sure not to hit the space bar before or after pasting the link, because if there's an added character, this won't work. Archive the letter and log out of Gmail. Log back in again. And note the envelope M. It may or may not have a rollover animation. Google uses a random number generator to enable the Easter egg based on the number of times you've logged in after emailing the link. If a rollover is not activated, log out of Gmail then log back in again until you see the Google TV activator. Here it took me 11 times. Finally. Now click it and refresh. There it is. You've received an invite to Google TV. Read through the end user license agreement and click to activate account. Log in with your Gmail name and password, and watch your favorite shows like Prison Break. I'm Mark Erickson, and this has been Infinite Solutions. I had a chance to talk to someone behind the video, and our conversation began with a confession. Um, I might have to tell you that uh, it is not entirely truthful. In fact, uh, from beginning to end, it is nothing but uh, deceit and lies. This is Zach, a.k.a. Mark Erickson. Do you see the resemblance? Now, did you find the video convincing? Because a whole lot of people did. I was absolutely shocked, not so much at the number of people that believed it, but the number of people that kept believing it, no matter how much evidence was presented to the fact that it was not true and how thoroughly debunked it was from every conceivable direction. Mark Erickson here with an emergency edition of Infinite Solutions. It looks like the Google TV beta video has exploded like a Romulan warbird. Now, no one was expecting this, not me and certainly not Google. Google Labs wants to continue with their beta testing, but they made the sign-up procedure more difficult. The login counts have been raised substantially, and someone suggested that the activation link may have even changed. We like the idea of just making like a video professor like tutorial series that was completely misleading. And upon you know coming up with the ideas, we realized that all of the tutorials should lead you on very labor-intensive uh, paths before you can realize that what you're doing is incorrect. Coil the Ethernet cable around your phone. The tighter the coiling, the better the signal will carry. Now at some point, around 20 feet or so, there's diminishing return on the amplification. So don't go buy a 100-foot Ethernet cable to make a beehive out of your cell phone. We made sure that everything, you know, the Minesweeper and the, and the iTunes, everything we told you to do took so long to do that you wasted so much time before you realized it wouldn't work. Line bolts are tricky to orient because both terminals are on the same side. I hope you found this interesting. I'm Mark Erickson, and this is Infinite Solutions. We're actually uh, currently working on a new project uh, called Lasagna Cat, uh, which is uh, Garfield themed. Um, you can look out for that YouTube channel, which ought to be going up in a couple weeks time, hopefully, uh, until it's cease and desisted. Frisky? <laughs> hopefully, we'll get to see some more Lasagna Cat before it gets pulled. 
That's it for today, and thanks for watching WebAlert.